In this video, we will review the DC Flex Zone grid systems as well as Emerge Alliance registered products. In our Lancaster Display Showroom, we have mock ups of both Superfine and Silhouette powered grid systems. Here in the Superfine display, we have 8 foot powered main beams running horizontally across the front. You'll notice non powered border mains at the perimeter on each side of the powered main runner. Remember, DC main runners cannot be cut during installation. The other showroom display features DC Flex Zone Silhouette Grid. DC Silhouette is actually the installed powered suspension system above the display as well. In the Silhouette display, the DC mains are running perpendicular to your current view. They then terminate into axiom. When terminating into axiom, a small cut border main can be difficult. While it is not possible to cut a DC flex zone powered main runner, you can cut the stab in detail off so that the main will sit on the axiom perimeter trim. This view shows that the silhouette main is not cut except for the tab at the termination into axiom. The DC main conductor at the top and in the reveal stops before the end of the main beam. Here is a similar treatment for when a powered main will rest on wall angle. Remember to cut tabs only, not the DC mains. Use border mains instead whenever possible. Here is a silhouette and a superfine border main tee. Each main is labeled, stating that they must be cut per the RCP layout on the architectural plans. Here is a sampling of partner registered products that integrate with our DC flex zone grid systems. Many of these are installed above in the mock-up area. Here is an auto transformer from Nextech Power Systems then some spec literature from Nextech on their power supply, an Emerge Alliance brochure on the DC microgrid, lighting literature, and some power cables from Tyco Electronics that power our grid system. Next, here are some of the lighting ballasts from Nextech that drive many of the light fixtures of our partners. Finally, here are some device cables that the light fixtures use to derive their power from the grid system.